is the leaked audio between Peter Obi and Bishop David Oyedepo. Now, the audio was quite damaging. You know, he referred to the election as a religious war. And because it was on April 1, I thought it was April Fool. So I put out a statement asking Peter Obi to either confirm or deny. Now, today, his spokesman, Kenneth Okonkwo, has actually confirmed that the voice on that audio tape was his and justified it, stating that the religious war was not fought by Peter B, but by the APC. I mean, that is just, you know, it's just grasping at straws. You see, Peter B has surrounded himself by inefficient people like this Kenneth Okonkwo fellow, because when something like this happens, instead of you trying to justify it, you either admit and apologize or you just remain quiet. What Kenneth Okonkwo has done has actually caused more damage, trying to even attack the people who he called religious war enemies, even when he should be apologizing to them. Look, at the end of the day, Nigeria dodged a bullet. And if you look at the video, if you look at the audio from the leaked call, it's even beyond just calling some sets of Nigerians, you know, enemies. Because when you say you're fighting a religious war, it means that you have enemies. And who are your enemies in this religious war? Anyway, if you read Kenneth Okonkwo's statement, which I'm going to put up on the screen, you're going to understand who the enemy are. But look at the manner, a man who wanted to be president of over 200 million Nigerians was crying like a teenage girl that had been dumped by her first boyfriend. Crying! Why? Because you are desperate for power. And then look at the way he was saying every sentence was prefaced with yes daddy, yes daddy, and ended with yes daddy, yes daddy. Is that the kind of simp that wanted to be our president? This is the man that said he was going to fight Boko Haram. Can such a person fight Boko Haram? I mean, you see Boko Haram myself, too. Ah, yes, daddy, yes, daddy. I mean, look at that. It was a show in how not to be a leader. Peter Obi is a good trader. I admit that I give him that. But he is never a good leader. That conversation is an embarrassment. It's an embarrassment. He did not show leadership. He did not show courage. He did not show a command presence. He did not show that he is fit enough to even be a local government chairman. Yes, he might be probably a good manager, but not a good leader. Listen to that tape again. Yes, daddy, yes, daddy, yes, daddy. Okay, let's play the tape for you so you listen to it. Daddy. Praise the Lord, how are you, sir? Fine, daddy. Good morning, daddy. Amen. In Jesus' name, we are going to get a bright result. Thank you, daddy. When I hear this, Christians in the Southwest and Quara, this is a religious war. Now you've listened to some aspects of the tape. Is that the kind of person that should be our leader when we are facing an existential terrorist war? A crisis of existential proportions which you have that simp, that yes that yes that yes that man as our leader? Oh my gosh. And truly, truly, Nigeria dodged the bullet. Not just in 2023. Whenever this man comes again, I call on Nigeria to reject this man. Thank you for watching and may God bless you. But when no troubles all around the world, I hope you get inspired about what you see. I must full of greatness, Reno is a master. Only one man against the old world in large. Fighting with the monster, poverty I can't stand. That's why Reno is a